Welcome back. This past week was really exciting, especially for those in the STEM and robotics community. Vex Robotics released their new game for 2425 called High Stakes. And basically, we're going to cover a few of the basics of the game and some tips and tricks. But also, more importantly, we're going to take a look at some sneak peeks that we saw in the video, which I'm pretty sure tells us what hero bot is coming down the pipeline. So stay tuned. Welcome to the show that sets your mind free. Tech and gadgets, 3D surprise. Before we dive in, let's first talk about Vex Robotics. For those of you who are not familiar, they're one of the largest companies that produce robotics kits and parts. They also create curriculum for schools, and they also host competitions and create competitions that kids of all ages participate in across the world. So as I said, they showed these videos, and they showed us what the game is all about, and essentially, I already have our high stakes kits already and game pieces. And basically the point of the game is to go ahead and try to get these rings onto the stakes, which are all over the ring, as well as on these mobile stakes that you can collect and move to the corner for some extra bonus points. And then of course there's a big ladder in the center in which that you can climb. But when we were going through the video, if you take a look, you'll notice there were these bots. And I'm pretty sure these are the hero bots for this year, which was quite intriguing. And so if we look closely, we'll notice that these bots kind of work on this almost like a plunger based system that close and retract, and that's what allows the rings to go through. So for example, here's a ring, and the claw goes, I can't fit through it, but let's say I'll take this, it, it, the, the arms kind of extend like this, and then retract so it falls off, and that's essentially how it works. And if we look closely at these images, You'll notice that we'll see these little black wings that pop open and close. And I'm pretty sure that that's what we're gonna see on this version of the hero bot. Now remember, these hero bots, they're not meant to do everything in the competition, but they're meant to kind of get you started. If you take a look even closer, you'll even notice that there is a gear on the arm. And if you look closely in the video, shows the arm plunging down and you can see that it's clearly lowering something that kind of makes the wings expand and retract. Now, I've been looking at this bot and I can't really tell from the pictures how it's going to manage to get this on top of the unit because when we look at some of the images, we notice that it's holding on to an entire tray full of rings, as you could see here. So clearly, how did it get that? tray onto the body that I'm sure maybe you have to build on your own. So clearly you're going to have to create some kind of a feeding system to bring that tray onto your body or you're going to be expected to push it. Now some other things I will tell you about the rings just in general. They are about two inches high here. They are seven inches wide and then in the inside it's about three inches from here to here. So when you're looking at this part over here is actually not a hard plastic. It is, it is rubbery. And so you, it, it has bounce to it and you could squeeze on it and you'll, you'll see that it can bend. But you'll also notice that you can get these rings off, but really more on an angle. So you're not going to be able to really just pull them straight up. So I would not really design a bot that just tries to pull the whole thing straight up because I, I don't think that, that you're gonna get it off that way, in my opinion. 
I mean, with enough force, you probably could, but it does take some force to remove this ring uh, off the stake. Now, what is uh, uh, true about it, that they do come off easily as long as you're putting it on, on an angle. And if you do it on an angle, they do come off relatively easy. So that is just a little tip for you guys when you're coming up with your designs. Now, the other thing about it is that there is a good lip on the inside over here. So just as we saw in the video when the two bots were kind of fighting over who gets it, they were plunging down their mechanism to pick up the rings and they were kind of pulling it. That you do have that, uh, you have a considerable lip I would say somewhere around a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of play there. And, and, and it is actually like, it's not like super light. I mean, it, it, it's, got, it's got some weight to it too. So anyway, that's a little bit about some of the game pieces. The other thing that I'm not sure all of you picked up on, and this is important, is that when you get to that tower that they showed you in the middle, do not think that you could just build your bot where it can just go up to the top bar and just pull itself up. The reality is, is that according to the game rules, you are going to have to kind of monkey your way up. So you can't really just climb from, go all the way to the top. You're going to have to go to the first bar, the first bar to the second bar, second bar to the, just like you would climb any jungle gym today. You're not just going straight to the top. So keep that in mind when you are playing your game. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I will try to bring some more STEM related news like this and robotics to our channel. And anyway, just, you know, don't forget, like and subscribe, okay? See you next time.